Hey up, it's Louise. I've just got a quick one for you today. Just some little, not so much a review, just my thoughts on recent books that I've read. I hope it's not too like rainy day soundscape at the minute because there's just been torrential downpour. It's been raining all week. It's really miserable and I don't know how loud it's going to be. So we will see. So yeah, if you've seen any of my like recent like charity shop hauls, I've been buying books. I've been buying so many books. I've just been buying books upon books upon books, but I've also been reading books upon books upon books. So I've just got three here that I've read. I'm like, I would like to articulate some thoughts on these, you know? Uh, and these three, they're all uh, about women and by women. I didn't pick that, but you know, I didn't pick it on purpose. So I will go through them now. My first book, I feel like this one, it's sort of cheating because I've read it before, but it was a long time ago. This is Eileen by Otessa Moshfeg, I want to say. I'm s Otessa, I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I'm sorry, Otessa. So yeah, this book, my best friend read it years ago and she said, Louise, you need to read this book because it reminds me of me and you. Also, it's really disgusting. And I read it and it does remind me of me and her and it is also really disgusting. So it's about the titular character, Eileen. And oh, she's getting into some japes and it's really, oh, it's it's horrible. And everyone in it's just hideous and just no one's a good person. But it's a really good book. I've uh, read her other book, My Year of Rest and Relaxation. That's also fantastic. Everyone in that is also hideous. It's also quite disgusting. But yeah, it's in like the, I think it's like the 50s or the 60s it's set in. Uh, and yeah she's horrendous and she's got just a really horrible relationship with her dad but it is a fantastic read and i found it in bernardo's for 50p and it's amazing highly recommend love this book and also her other book my year of rest of, my year of rest and relaxation is also great and that just made me want to go to bed for a year but i can't do that sadly yes highly recommend very good five stars a book number two is How to Build a Girl by Caitlin Moran. I didn't like this. I read it really fast. I didn't like it. I just, I don't like the way that Caitlin writes. Mm. And I feel like as well, uh, <laughs> she, she likes to write just so she can like write in slurs that I don't think she should be using. That's my opinion anyway. When I read, uh, it's like How to Be a Woman, she was using some slurs in that and I was like, I wonder if she's gonna do the same in this. And there's like multiple instances of like different slurs that she should not be using. I don't know. I didn't buy this one. I found it in a free pile and I knew reading it would annoy me, but I read it anyway. And I was right and it really annoyed me. I don't rate Caitlin Moran. Eh. And I thought as well, there's like a whole plot line, the girl in it's like 16, 17. And she's like hanging out with this musician and he's in his mid twenties. And I thought like, oh, the plot line was gonna be, oh, obviously he was grooming her, but no, it was like, oh no. And they were just really good pals and there was nothing sinister there. And I'm like, there was definitely something sinister there. He was definitely grooming her, whatever. Uh, and I think they made this into a film as well, which uh, was surprising when I was Googling it because it was like Beanie Feldstein that was playing the titular girl. And I don't think, I don't know, she's she's a fine actress. I just don't know how well she could do a Wolverhampton accent, but maybe I'll watch it. Maybe I won't. Who knows? And my last one, The Big Lie by Julie Mayhew. This was the one I bought and someone stole it from their school library. You can see the library plate in the front and it's got the school name stamped on all the sides. I didn't realise this was like a young adult novel when I bought it, but it's quite gritty. It's, um, so it's like alternative timeline what if the Nazis occupied Britain and it was the 2010s? You know, that sort of thing. And I got real big, like, Handmaid's Tale vibes from it. And then when you read the author's notes at the back, she's like, oh yeah, I was really inspired by Margaret Atwood's A Handmaid's Tale. I'm like, I got that. It's really good. It just follows this um this one girl uh, and she's she's trying to be trying to be a good German citizen and just do her duty. And oh, there's, there's japes and scrapes and all, all that stuff. Very good. Uh, it was like a very quick read. I really enjoyed it. There's like a lot of like, oh yeah, it's quite dark. You know, it's like a coming of age, but like, it's quite hideous. It was a good book. I uh, liked it a lot more than I thought I would. So yeah, 
very good. Also very good 50p Bernardo's find. So yeah, those are my three recent reads and I feel like this was very chaotic and my opinion, because I don't know, I'm like, is it a British thing? Is it a Northern thing? If I like something, I'll be like, it's all right. If I don't like something, I'll be like, yeah, it's all right. So usually my opinions on books are, it's all right. So I feel like I've articulated a little more for my opinions on these, but not really. So just in summary, Eileen, great book, please read it. How to Build a Girl, Caitlin Moran, kind of sucks ass, I'm sorry. The Big Lie, also pretty good. Steal it from your school's library if it's there. Don't do that, that's a crime. <laughs> so yeah, this was probably very chaotic and I'll read some more books and I'll give you more chaotic opinions on them. Bye guys.